this area looked pretty rough, but uh, all the nice stuff's up here. They've been building out here for many years now, new houses, so. I mean, it, they're, it's like the typical suburbs. I don't, it's not super appealing to me. I, I, I mean, the houses are nice. You'll see them coming up, but it just seems so sterile and, I don't know, it seems boring. Unless you found a community where, you know, back in the old days when I grew up, everyone on the street, we seemed to, it was a new area, it was all new families, and we had a one heck of a time growing up. I mean, lots of kids and lots of friends to play with. It was a, it was a really great time, and I, th I think that's all gone now. Um, in most areas. So that's another topic I'd like to talk about, but we'll do it here. That would get me in trouble too. But you see, it's your standard uh, houses and stuff. Some very nice. I mean, these houses here are really nice compared to my house. I don't know, I just, I never get a good feeling in these places, though, for some reason. I just don't. It's too... I don't know. Just don't like it, guys. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below, like... I don't know, I would really be interested in thoughts, like, would you like to live here? And this sort uh, of layout here, this setup? I don't know. I guess these are condos here. Someone's Jaguar XJS V12. Maybe we can do a quick look at downtown. So this is the same river, it's pretty low. Can't really tell from here, but. And here we're entering sort of like the downtownish area. They've done a lot of work down here. It used to look pretty bad, but kind of got it spruced up working on it. Very old buildings here, but uh, here's a some nice, nice. Well, I mean, they've redone the fronts on some of these. You know, painted them up, put some siding on them. But that store is kind of good. I, well, I've already passed. 
think it's called Tyrannosaurus Rex or something, or Tyrannosaurus Pets, or, anyways, eh, there's some cool things in there. Oh, that was about it. There's a little bit more down there, but let's go up here. It used to be a really nice uh, old style hotel. I don't know how old it was, but it was big and fancy, like, uh, you know, 1920s ish. Used to take up that whole lot right there. Anyways, that mysteriously burnt down. We're going on to Church Street here. There's always a few hobos around. There's the courthouse if you get in trouble. Catholic school here, and I'll assume that there's the Catholic church there. And here's a guy in his pajamas on his little scooter or whatever he is wearing. And I'll zip in here for a sec. So, I just want to see the water, and not much happening, because especially in the spring and even into summer, this is like uh, white water rafting almost, like it's pretty serious stuff, so yeah, water is pretty low. Like the water just roars in there. It's amazing. Not so much right now. Well, oh, there's Pajama Man. Pajama Man and some guy with a everything he owns probably in that big red sack. Is that, or is that a woman? I don't know. Ooh, look, we can follow him. They look not in good shape, folks. Looks like someone smacked them around. They're all bruised up. That, that person with the big bag. It's sad, but, you know, that's, that's another topic, but not for here. I'm going to have to start another channel, maybe on a different site other than YouTube, and we can talk about this stuff. On my drives, we could talk about a lot of interesting things that I can't talk about. Oh, I don't know what else is there to see here. Oh, there's the uh, train station up here. Which is pretty convenient if you want to take the train into, say, Toronto or out to Montreal. Um, you know, nothing's cheap these days, but it is... I'll have to say the Via Train, I took it once a couple years ago, and they have really nice seats on them, like big leather seats, table. It was super comfy and stress-free, so, you know. Oh, you can get to the Toronto Pearson Airport very easily now, too, like, 
compared to driving you really don't really end up saving much if you drive yourself out if you're going to be parking for a week and parking's going to cost you the gas to get out there so it works out i mean it's there's not a big super cost benefit but there's a big stress uh much less stress let's just put it that way but yeah there's the old little wee via station and they built this bigger fancy one here our skeleton friend isn't he looking good he has crazy eyes if you get up close so anyways uh, this is my kind of area I think I like this better than in town so I guess I have was it three things you can comment on would you just think about the houses in that area like the new houses and just do you get a weird feeling with that stuff I don't know comment below would you prefer this kind of area you know with the trees and stuff live out here I don't know comment down below and what was the other thing I can't think of it oh my goodness Okay, I thought of all three items. So what did you think about the new area that I showed you? The houses, like what kind of feel does that give you? Is it good, bad, or are you into that, not into it? What did you think about on the last street we are on with all the trees? Houses aren't really close together. What do you think about that? Is that better, worse? Comment. And also, should I start another channel where we can talk about things that you can't talk about on YouTube. I think I should. I've been thinking about how I could do that for a long time. Um, but I have that sorted out. I just have to decide to do it. I think that might be fun. That'll give us stuff to talk about while we're driving. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Take care. Please subscribe if you want to. And uh, yeah, like my video. That helps me out. I know some people don't. They know that. Maybe they don't. But I just I have to mention it, okay? Take care, everyone.